We often hear about the polar vortex during winter's coldest days, but what is it really? Picture a swirling mass of frigid low-pressure air high above the North Pole, spinning in the stratosphere. This vortex acts as a barrier, keeping Arctic air locked up north and our winter weather relatively stable. But sometimes a dramatic event called Sudden Stratospheric Warming, or SSW, shakes things up. Powerful atmospheric waves surge upward, rapidly heating the stratosphere by up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit in just days. This warmth doesn't reach the ground directly but it disrupts the polar vortex which depends on extreme cold to stay strong. The SSW weakens the vortex, making it wobble and lose its grip on the Arctic air. Imagine pushing a spinning top until it starts to wobble and break apart. This disruption sets off a chain reaction, eventually impacting weather patterns across North America for weeks or even months. The polar vortex is the Arctic's guardian, but SSW is the disruptor that changes the rules. When the vortex's stability is shattered, Arctic air escapes, setting the stage for dramatic, unpredictable weather. The result? A season of wild contrasts and surprises all triggered by events miles above our heads. The interaction between the polar vortex and SSW is the spark for the unusual spring weather we're about to experience. Get ready for a season where the atmosphere's hidden machinery takes center stage. The polar vortex didn't collapse overnight, it was the direct result of the sudden stratospheric warming. When those waves broke in the stratosphere they delivered a knockout blow, flipping the temperature gradient at the pole. The vortex's powerful winds slowed, sometimes even reversing, and its tight circular shape unraveled. Instead of a single organized cyclone, the vortex split into messy fragments of cold air. These pieces, no longer trapped at the pole, drifted southward, guided by shifting atmospheric currents. This is the crucial link. The breakdown above sets the stage for chaos below. The fence holding back Arctic cold was gone and the effects began to trickle down through the atmosphere. It takes weeks for these changes to reach the surface but meteorologists can track the descent in real time. The result? A complete reorganization of northern hemisphere weather. The jet stream, once a steady west-to-east flow, becomes weak and wavy, developing deep troughs and ridges. These waves allow lobes of Arctic air to plunge deep into the mid-latitudes. The stage is set for wild temperature swings and unsettled weather. The stratosphere story is now our story on the ground. With the polar vortex shattered and the jet stream meandering, extreme weather is unleashed. Deep troughs bring unseasonable cold to some regions, while ridges deliver early summer warmth to others. Neighboring states can experience snow in one, and record heat in the next. The sharp contrast between cold Arctic air and warm Gulf air fuels powerful storms. The southern plains and Midwest face a heightened risk of severe weather, heavy rain, flooding, thunderstorms, even tornadoes. The jet stream's new path steers storms into unusual places, bringing rain to typically dry regions and leaving others parched. The Midwest especially is primed for repeated rounds of heavy rain and potential flooding. The dominoes that started falling in the stratosphere are now toppling across the continent. From late freezes in the north to severe storms in the south, millions will feel the impact. This is no ordinary spring, it's a season of atmospheric chaos. The polar vortex collapse has split North America in two, with the northeast and west experiencing opposite extremes. A deep trough in the east funnels Arctic air south, while a strong ridge in the west brings persistent warmth. For the northeast and southeastern Canada spring feels like a return to winter, prolonged cold, late frosts and even wet snow. This chill delays true spring affecting agriculture and daily life. Meanwhile the west basks under a heat dome, dry, sunny and much warmer than average. But this warmth comes at a cost, worsening drought and rapid snowmelt threaten water supplies. The wavy jet stream locks these patterns in place, creating weeks of persistent extremes. Boston may be scraping frost while Los Angeles heads to the beach. A single atmospheric event above the Arctic has created two starkly different realities. This spring, your weather depends entirely on your location. The story of the season is one of dramatic division. The polar vortex's collapse is the author of this tale of two coasts. To understand this split, we need to look at blocking patterns, massive, slow-moving domes of high pressure. When the jet stream weakens and meanders, these blocks form and persist, diverting weather systems around them. The most significant is the Greenland block, a classic post-SSW feature. High pressure near Greenland plugs the North Atlantic, 
forcing the jet stream to dive south over the east, keeping cold air locked in. Meanwhile, a strong ridge over the west deflects storms and cold air north, ensuring warmth and dryness. These blocks are the main mechanism transmitting stratospheric changes to our surface weather. The Greenland block and western ridge work together, dictating who gets cold and who gets sun. Their position and strength are key to forecasting the weeks after a polar vortex collapse. They're the invisible hands shaping our daily weather. The science of blocking explains why this spring's patterns are so persistent and extreme. This spring is defined by volatility, a true atmospheric roller coaster. The wavy jet stream isn't fixed, it shifts, moving the boundary between cold and warm air north and south. The Midwest and Ohio Valley are on the front lines, swinging from late winter chill to sudden warmth in days. These rapid changes stress agriculture, as plants risk budding too early and getting hit by frost. The displaced lobes of Arctic air act as wild cards, forcing the jet stream to constantly reconfigure. Each adjustment sends new waves of weather across the country. Even in the stable east and west, brief warm-ups or rare storms can break the pattern. Instability is the rule, not the exception. The collapse of the polar vortex has replaced the orderly transition of seasons with chaos. Expect high-amplitude swings and surprises all spring long. The atmosphere is still searching for balance. This is a season where unpredictability reigns. Looking ahead, the polar vortex collapse will continue to dominate spring's weather. April will likely be cooler than average from the Great Lakes to the northeast, with late-season cold snaps a real threat. The west stays warm and dry, with drought concerns mounting. The central U.S. remains the battleground, facing severe storms and heavy rain as air masses clash. This year's volatility will be even greater than usual. By May, the sun's strength should gradually weaken the Arctic air, and the jet stream will retreat north. But the transition won't be smooth, late frosts may linger in the northeast, and drought will worsen in the west. The central U.S. could see a peak in severe weather, with more frequent and widespread events. The ghost of the polar vortex collapse will haunt our weather well into late spring. Summer's normalcy will be slow to arrive. How long will the chill last in the east? The answer longer than usual thanks to the polar vortex collapse. The vortex split into pieces, leaving reservoirs of cold air much closer to the U.S. than normal. Even a minor dip in the jet stream can unleash another round of unseasonable cold. The Greenland block keeps the door open for these Arctic intrusions. Instead of a steady warming trend, spring will be interrupted by repeated setbacks. Warm spells may be followed by weeks of chilly weather, frustrating those eager for summer. For agriculture, the risk is serious. Early blossoms are vulnerable to frost and planting may be delayed. The economic impact could be significant, especially for fruit crops. The atmosphere is still working to dissipate the displaced cold air. Until the sun and circulation fully modify these reservoirs, the threat remains. Keep your jackets handy, winter's chill isn't done yet. The legacy of the SSW event lingers on. Spring 2025 will be remembered for its dramatic contrasts, all triggered by a major sudden stratospheric warming event. What started as a rapid warming above the Arctic has cascaded into impactful weather for millions. The continent's weather is now starkly divided, a cold, unsettled east and a hot, dry west. The Midwest and Southern Plains are caught in the middle facing an active storm track and severe weather. Blocking high-pressure systems near Greenland and over the west explain the persistence of these extremes. The jet stream's volatility has made this spring a roller coaster for many. This isn't random, it's a predictable response to stratospheric disruption. As summer approaches the vortex's influence will fade, but the impacts will linger. From water shortages in the west to crop risks in the east, the legacy of this spring will last. It's a powerful reminder. Our daily weather is shaped by forces miles above our heads.